The plant with yellow flowers you see here is called yellow witchweed or electra. It is no ordinary plant. It is a parasitic plant which causes a lot of damage to cowpea, resulting in very poor cowpea yields or even no yield. This video shows us how yellow witchweed attacks cowpea plants in the field and gives some recommendations for control of witchweed. The witchweed flowers form capsules, and once these have ripened, they release a very large number of tiny seeds. These seeds are spread by wind, water, livestock, agricultural implements, and also on the seeds of crop plants at harvest time. The seeds can remain in the soil for more than 15 years and still be able to germinate. We now zoom into the roots of germinating cowpea in order to see the very early stages of witchweed development. Cowpea roots produce a chemical stimulant called strigol. The witchweed seeds can detect this chemical, which stimulates them to germinate, grow towards the cowpea roots, and attach themselves. The witchweed then starts to grow using the food, water, and minerals it sucks from the cowpea roots. While witchweed is growing underground, it has no green leaves and therefore is dependent on the cowpea plant for all its food needs. Several witchweed seeds can infect a single cowpea plant, as you can see here, where a cowpea plant affected by yellow witchweed has been dug up. Witchweed causes the greatest damage to cowpea while growing underground because it is obtaining all its water, carbohydrates and minerals from cowpea. Once yellow witchweed emerges above the ground, it develops its own green leaves and starts to produce its own food. This is what yellow witchweed shoots look like after emerging above the ground. But yellow witchweed still continues to suck extra food and water from the cowpea roots. As a result, the cowpea plant still continues to grow poorly. As witchweed continues to develop above ground, it looks like any other common green plant. When the flowers mature, seed capsules are formed which release large numbers of tiny seeds, as was explained at the start of the video, and the witchweed life cycle is complete. When cowpea fields are severely infested with yellow witchweed, crop yields can be very low, or even nothing at all, as shown here. The Agricultural Research Institute Ilonga Kilosa Morogoro has bred cowpea varieties such as Vuli AR1 and Vuli AR2, which are resistant to witchweed. Roots of these resistant varieties do not produce much of the chemical stimulant, and therefore few or no witchweed seeds germinate and infect the cowpea roots. The cowpea plant is therefore able to develop and grow as normal and produce a good yield. In fields severely infested with yellow witchweed, these resistant varieties can yield up to 600 kg per acre compared to the non-resistant varieties that yield less than 200 kg per acre or even nothing. In addition to use of resistant varieties, farmers are advised to use a combination of control methods against yellow witchweed, including intercropping, good weeding, uprooting witchweed plants before they flower, careful harvesting, and good storage.